Ramble. Thank you to BetterHelp and DoorDash for sponsoring today's episode. Welcome. Hey, welcome. Okay, you. so you want me to go or you want to go? I'm not sure. Keith will go and then I guess you'll go. Welcome to the pod- podcast. podcast. Mm-hmm. We're here, here. Yeah. doing a recording. We're back in the studio. And things are better <sighs> than ever. Yeah, we've and been grounded. All of our cars are totaled. <laughs> 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 it's kind of like, yeah. look, we've been so on the grind of revolutionizing the podcast yeah. that we yeah. thought, how do we revolutionize it further? What if we return? Yeah, yeah. I like to that. where we started. Return of the King, Return of the Kings, yeah. Return of the Royalty. Yeah. It's kind of the classic hero's journey. You start in a place, you go into the underworld, the underbelly. For us, it was exploring the subconscious of the plog, mm. and now we have returned to the surface, mm. having changed, and we're here to tell you the world what we discovered. Well, we've gotten Charles's blessing. Charles. Charles E. Cheese. Charles E. Cheese. Guys, I wanted to sort of do, yeah, to start, maybe we can just do a a retrospective <laughs> on, on Chucky and how we're feeling like, I mean, I guess two weeks out, not even. This is the one week retrospective of Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah. That was Monday. What was um, it like? Um, well, first of all, I want to say that I wish that we could time travel in the plug. Yeah. I wish we could go to a Chuck E. Cheese <laughs> in the 90s to see the full oh. animatronic band. Yeah, there's more than just Chuck Because it was such a thing. And did you know there's like there's a guy somewhere who collects them and he puts uh, popular songs to them? Oh, he that's cool. He programs the machine so like they could perform, you know, Cardi B. <laughs> I'm that's not even so kidding. Cool. I think he has a YouTube channel where he does it. Hmm. Uh, have you seen Cardi B's most recent TikTok? I sure haven't. It's really good. Have you seen it? No. It's a day in the life of You're not going to ask me. Sorry, Zach. I Sorry, haven't. Zach, you're irrelevant. <laughs> I haven't seen it. You have? I have not. Oh. <laughs> when you ask Keith something, sometimes it, the answer might be the same for Zach. Yeah. But honestly, with pop culture, no, it, it wouldn't be. It's, yeah. really nice. <laughs> it's usually yeah. pretty different, I feel like. But she she did a day in the life. She wakes up. She plays with her kids. She makes she actually made her kids breakfast because usually she has people to do it, but they were on spring break. Not sure what that meant. And then <laughs> she went and she she brought her daughter and worked out for three hours. Holy shit. That's yeah, amazing. well, she worked out for two hours and stretched for one. If my mom made me watch her work out for three hours, yeah. I would lose my mind. I know. I was yeah, like, the what kids is the kid went? doing? Yeah, it, well, the kid went, but then disappeared into the ether. Like, <laughs> you know, I don't know where the kid was when she was working out. Sorry, does your gym not have a daycare center? Yeah. Rainy? What kind wow. of, yeah. Even yeah. Ikea has daycare. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's well, closed right now from well, the pandemic. I still. don't know that I would feel... I don't know if I was like, yeah, I don't know that I'm feeling psyched about leaving once, Julian at the I bet once you have more than one kid, you'd be like, who cares? Yeah, that's true. Once they can watch each other. Yeah. And I can be like, they can oh. stick up for each other yeah. in the ball pit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> He's some big Swedish kid comes out and bullies them. So uh, speaking on Chuck E. Cheese stuff, yeah. did you guys ever have a DZ, the Discovery Zone? I've heard of this. But Discovery yeah. Zone was like you take the ball pit from a play place or you take a play place from McDonald's. Mm -hmm. What if you made 10 of them mm -hmm. and connected them oh. yeah. and had different kinds of ball pits, different things where you go through. And it was almost like a little yes. kid Ninja Warrior in some ways. Now, now they actually have those Ninja Warrior places that are mm -hmm. sort of like, I don't know, adventure mazes. I don't really Ninja get it. Warriors of franchise. It's a whole thing. But back mm -hmm. in the day, I went to a DZ and I remember it being the single best Chuck E. Cheese adjacent thing mm. that I'd ever done in my child life. Because they had all these different slides. They had, they had a rope swing to swing into the ball pit. It was just like the greatest. And I don't know how that franchise died. Yeah. We're chasing that high, clearly. We yeah. all want to be back in the ball pit. <sighs> and they can't be that hard to make for us biggins. Right? They, they have all those like fake ball pits for from like the Instagram photo museums. Oh, I, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. So like but those are just for posing. Yeah. For posing, they're not for playing. Even the one that they had at VidCon once, I was splashed around in it too much, apparently. Did, they, you, get, yeah. did you get called out? They were like, oh, it's a little much. They said that? They shamed you in the ball pit? Shamed in the public <laughs> ball pit? It might have been Becky. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it might have been Becky saying people were looking. <laughs> Keith, Keith, get out of the ball pit. Because <laughs> <laughs> <It's kinda like, laughs> I was like really <laughs> playing it up. Whenever I go to VidCon, because... I often will feel so out of place because already 
just so much older than so many people there. Yeah. And like they're they're so cool and they're also <clears throat> being so cool and dressing so cool. They like some of them have like Coachella adjacent outfits for VidCon. Whoa. Yeah, they're and sort of doing I that. feel so lame. Mm. So I'm like, well, why not just be lamer and be the 35 <laughs> yeah. year old splash around in a ball <laughs> pit it, going, yeah. woo! <laughs> it's fun. Attracting attention in the Instagram uh, creator zone. zone. <laughs> <laughs> the IZ. Well, yeah. so uh, it was a dream creator speaking zone. of uh, VidCon, I mean, you have another chance this year because you guys are yeah. featured creators at VidCon yeah. to splash around in the aforementioned ball pit. I'm kind of excited because I haven't gone in three years because of the pandemic. Yeah. And then they didn't invite us last year. <laughs> 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 and then this year they were like, oops, we actually meant to invite you, but we forgot. And we're like, sure, sure, sure. Yeah. I, sure, I sure, did sure. proudly on this show proclaim that I was not going, but yeah. uh, somehow I am. Yeah, yeah you are going. So, <laughs> you're going. So <laughs> yeah, sorry, bro. <laughs> we're doing, I think, a live podcast there. Yeah. Perhaps. I don't know if it'll actually... Yeah, we're doing See something the there. Day, yeah, we're, we're, we're doing stuff doing there. Podcast. Did you get a room? Yeah, uh, yes. Okay, I believe so. I was gonna be like, I know, I asked for a big room, so if they didn't give you a room, you can you can hang <laughs> well, out with me. The, the first time I went, I feel like we shared a we bed. We did. <laughs> it's very Aww. cute. We did. We're gonna. We're they g- didn't give us enough rooms. Yeah, right. So. And we don't do that anymore. No. Nope. Hey. <laughs> 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 yeah, but um, I, it is going to be fun. I, think, I heard that we're actually going to turn your room into the activities room, and then you're going to bring a sleeping bag and like chill that. on my floor. That's cool. Yeah, we can turn that room into sort of just like the yoga room. Yeah. And then <laughs> yeah, we'll take the bed out. <laughs> take the bed out, put it in Zach's floor. I wonder what free stuff we'll get this year. What brands are giving away free things to creators? Like a Skittles fucking dildo or something. <laughs> <laughs> you think they're Skittles? <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking, so you're not Skit- wrong. Baby in Skittles that- is making a adults friendly <laughs> product. It actually Feel makes- the rainbow. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> it does make sense. Under every viral tweet, they're selling a vibrator. So yeah, yeah. Uh, the candy companies are the main sponsors <laughs> of VidCon now. Really? Yeah, there were so many candy brands everywhere, and they were giving away candy. Yeah. Oh, bro. Yeah. Speaking of viral. <gasps> Your boy got a blue sky invite. Whoa. No. I'm on the exclusive app of Blue Sky. Oh, what's that? <laughs> yeah. I'm I thought a blue you, sky glad- invite meant like you got invited to a blue sky, something you've always wanted Uh-oh. to be invited to. What's the fuck is that? <laughs> that blue sense. sky yeah. is the new Twitter for people who don't like Twitter. Oh. But it's not truth social. <laughs> it's, but it's not truth social. And it's, and it's invite only. Invite only. It's the new thing from Jack Dorsey, who made Twitter. Oh, he's and like, let's do this again. Second let's time. Try it again. Yeah, run it one more and time. And so far, it's confusing and broken, but Twitter's also <laughs> broken. So yeah. yeah, I remember there were other competitors that came out that. Uh, yeah, there was Mastodon and. Something else. Uh, Por- Pori Gang. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you just made up a Pokemon. <laughs> Pori Gang. <laughs> Pori Gang. A grass type Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> Pori Gang evolves into Pody Gang. <laughs> well, what is true? What, sorry, not just social. What is Blue Sky? I'm, I'm not, not sure yet. Yeah. But I. it seems to me like if Twitter were only for liberal-minded millennials. Interesting. Uh-oh. Yeah, uh-oh. Sounds sounds like the kind of echo chamber that I want to uh, be in, baby. Yeah, I, I mean, I like, the live, I like when people agree with me. Yeah. <laughs> but also... You want to have a little bit of discourse. Twitter, yeah, though, sure. is so fundamentally broken right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, I only get posts about uh, Star Wars. People are still talking about uh-huh. about the may, Ryan Johnson the Star Wars. There. No, it's not even that. They're just debating over the 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 really? Ryan Johnson Star Wars. Is three three PO the best one or? Yeah, could R2D2 bone a, <laughs> okay. a Skittle? Now R2D2, Zach. he probably has a boner thing, like a dildo thing, right? I wish I could hear that. Yeah. I don't know, actually. I don't think I don't think that's the right demographic. How many Star Wars people do you think are buying dildos? Dildos? A lot. Really? Star a Wars lot. is such a yeah. It's a big franchise. If you could R2 get a dildo. dildo of any Star Wars character, R2 D2 would not be my first choice. What um, character dildo? Chewbacca. <laughs> so um yeah, so I oh. guess <laughs> Zach's saying that he he'd like it to be kind of Who a Who would you choose? 
Jabba? <laughs> I think mine would be, have to be Jabba. Jabba. Yeah. Yeah. I want to be that little um, rat guy who hangs out with Jabba. Yeah. That guy? Mm. I feel I feel the energy in here. The Grogu yeah. dildo. We've really been benched. It's sort of interesting. <laughs> uh-huh. We were out flying. Mm-hmm. The Grogu, sorry. <laughs> Grogu's a baby. <laughs> I know. I was wondering how, how on earth you just blew past that. I was like, wow, someone's not listening. It hit me like a storm <laughs> a moment later. We were, I was in the eye of the storm. It was a grenade. I threw it at you and it blew up a little later. I know. Just a little bit later. Well, we've got a lot to get to. Uh, we got a lot to get to. Rainy was sort of mentioning we haven't done a big check in with Keith since he's been oh, back yeah. from New York because we've been sort of on the road. Yeah, we've been cruising. But Keith, you're sort of up to a lot of fun little shenanigans. Yeah, I've been busy and uh, I've been working on, you know, the Wizard Friendship. We did it in yeah. New York. It was very, very fun. And now we have the album coming out in June. So we've been working on that sort of behind the scenes. Uh, like doing lots and lots of review passes because we really want it to be sick as fuck. Yeah. yeah. Um, and we've been, we put out the Stupid Idea song as a single and we have more songs. We have the Giant Bird in a Man Suit song. Let me tell you, that track, we have a guest <laughs> on it who's a surprise guest for announcing. And it's so fun. Honestly, the second half of the song when he starts singing, it's better than the rest of the song. <laughs> oh, that's great. It's like you get to that and you're like, wow, this is a fucking jam. Okay, it's you're teasing so us fun. in a way that if I don't know what you're talking about, I don't know what you're talking about. So the giant bird in a man suit. So no, I have a song know, called, You Can Tell by the Way I Move the. I'm a <laughs> but giant what kind bird of guests are we talking about suit. here? I, I think I can't. It's not a surprise anymore. We've said it somewhere. Uh, Deshaun Wesley, uh, who <gasps> is on from Legendary. Oh, yeah. And he's he's like a famous ballroom caller. Oh, wow. And he goes in and he does a, like a two minute long. Like mostly freestyled, oh, just yeah. ballroom calling of a giant bird. That's very that's very exhilarating. Good. It is. I'll I'll let you guys listen to the track because I have it and it's so good. It's it honestly it's better than the rest of the song. The song is like good, and then you get to that part of the song, it's like way better. Now, <laughs> if so I good. if I was not aware of what a ballroom call. So ballroom is the underground like voguing type dancing. Uh, of, not just the gay community. There's like a lot of mishmashes of communities, um, although it's very popular in the gay community as well. Um, but it's kind of like adjacent to drag, and there are sometimes drag queens who do ballroom, mm-hmm. like doing this kind of thing. Oh, yeah, doing, doing right. cool yeah. dancing. Big old, like when you see those clips of like people doing runways and they're just doing death drops over and over and over. Right. Uh-huh. That's ballroom. Wasn't the show Pose ballroom? Pose is ballroom. So that's. How oh, that makes sense. Okay, gotcha. Co- copy that. Yeah. I was thinking about like a, what they did on the Titanic dun, when they danced. Dun, 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 dun. Waltzing. Oh, like a ballroom a dance. dance. Waltzing. Waltzing. <laughs> there we go. Uh, or other ballroom. Yeah, so it's yeah. really cool and he's great. And we have uh, Alex Brightman plays Flim Flam on the album. Flim Flam is a uh, giant penis who believes he's a sausage. <laughs> and he sings uh, the song I'm a Dick. And it's so incredible to have, you have Beetlejuice a singing. Tony nominated. Yeah, yeah that's yes. fucking wow. sick. Two time Tony, non- Tony nominated. A uh, person who's now, and he's going to be in. Um, they're putting the the Monty Python and the Holy Grail, the the musical they made. Oh, wow. What's it mm. called? It's called um, Bamalot. Yeah, they're redoing it for like a month at the Kennedy Center. Sick. And he is in it, and it's like an all star cast, and they're just doing it for a month. While you were in New York, you were like going to all the Broadway mm. bars. Mm-hmm. You were hanging out with other Broadway yeah. people. I uh, I've made friends with Gatton. Uh, oh, I you're can't. on first name basis? Well, I don't know how to pronounce his last name very well. Gaten Matarazzo? Yeah. Gaten. Sorry. Yeah. The <laughs> legend Gaten. himself Gaten of, of, of his prank show. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> you got Gaten. You got Gaten. <laughs> I'm Gaten. Right, he was really, really nice. And <laughs> I ran into things his own. And yeah. here's what was very cool for us is when I ran into him, I just saw him walk by and I was like, oh, I know who he is. Uh, I, I need to get a new drink. So why don't I go to the bar? Yeah. And maybe I'll run into him. Sure. You know, maybe I'll r- 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 rub elbows Keith. and say hello. <laughs> but when I, I. Keith? Very smooth. It was smooth. <laughs> I was being really smooth. But Keith? The, Smooth as butter, my dude. Thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I basically just put myself somewhere in his line of sight, but I yeah. really was also getting a drink. And <laughs> you're standing <laughs> perpendicular to him. <laughs> and, but he saw me and he's like, oh my gosh, hey, how's it going? And it's like, oh, you're in town right now putting up the musical with Lou Burger, right? 
Wow. <laughs> he knows his so stuff. So he's a real Try Guys and, and internet stuff fan. And he even, wow. then Alex Lewis, we, we were there another day and Alex Lewis walked okay. in. And he's like, oh, Alex, how's it going? Wow. <laughs> That's so funny. And, uh, and we went and saw Sweeney Todd and he was uh, so good. Who's he play? He plays the the kid who... Um, Gavrosh? Well, he's yes. A, he yeah, plays the, Gavrosh? The kid who like is the little assistant to the the other guy who's the snake oil salesman and then he becomes their like little yeah. assistant. I think and then he gets shot in the head or whatever. Spoilers for Lame I don't think he gets... <laughs> This We're is not, not lame. Is about Sweeney, Sweeney Todd. Todd. I'm like, I was like, Whoa, I don't think guys. <laughs> sorry. I was like, I'm so I was sorry. like, I don't remember the character's name. Maybe it was Gavrage. I don't think it was. But who is he? <laughs> Sweeney Todd is he? Rum Tum Tugger, the Jellicle cat? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I only know one. Broadway he's show. he's um, the Phantom. <laughs> he's the Phantom. He has like half his he's, face covered. Yeah. yeah, he's the guy that like goes door to door trying to get people to join the the Mormon Church. Yes, yeah. right. Is, he's, he, the, and is he, he the puppet that sings about porn? He's the one who defies gravity. Oh, awesome. yeah. he's the one who's trying to get on the hairspray show. Yes. Yeah. He's he, Sasha Baron Cohen's little guy. Yeah. He actually, he sings like all the songs you have heard and you're like, oh, that's in Sweeney Todd. <laughs> he has all those songs. Yeah. Uh, and it was, he was really tremendous. The whole show was actually great. And the, um, what's the woman's name? Miss, Miss something. Miss Perry Lovett. Winkle. Miss Lovett. She was so phenomenal. She is a legend in Broadway. I can't remember their name because I can remember no one's name ever, but she was so funny. And I, <laughs> here's the, the true story is it was the end of the first act. About 45 minutes from the end of the first act, I start to have to pee really bad. Uh, like oh I kind of no. had to pee like 20 minutes in. I was like, but I could probably make it. I was wrong. At 45 <gasps> minutes to the end of the first act, I have to pee probably more than I've ever had to pee. <gasps> and then it <laughs> continues on. And in the last song, the last song, for whatever reason, is nine and a half minutes long. So when I saw the playbill and it's like, last song started, I'm like, okay, we're so close. This is great. And I, I'm, I'm to the point of it hurts so bad, I can't enjoy the show. Yeah. But I'm also in the third row. So I can't oh. get up. I can't get Oof. up and walk out of the theater to go pee. So I have to pee so bad. And there's this bit that they do in the middle of that nine minute song where they sort of start doing literal like comedy bits and they milk it for as long as the audience is into it. Oh. And the audience was so into it. And I'm like, <laughs> like, that's very funny, but please, please move on. I had to be so bad. And as soon as like it ended and people started applauding, <laughs> I raced oh. out. Cause I was like, I'm gonna piss myself. Yeah, that's terrible. I can't be. The guy. The YouTube guy. <laughs> I can't imagine. <laughs> Try guy yeah. pisses, pisses himself, himself at Sweeney Todd preview. Honestly, <laughs> that's a big headline. I didn't want it to be mine. No. Well, it could. you could say, it, I, I think that's high praise for the show. I loved it so much <laughs> yeah. Yeah. that I piddled my pants. I peed for the duration of three people cycling through the Wow, That's night. a big pee, Keith. I <laughs> was in excruciating pain. <laughs> Keith? That's big a big P. P. <laughs> hey, by the way, you know what's big interesting? P. I'm wondering now, that has me thinking, what if for press reasons, we have Zach <laughs> pee himself at a different <laughs> premiere? Like, hmm. Zach is at the Avengers premiere somehow. We get him in there. <laughs> I like this plan. And he pisses himself on the red carpet. That's a headline. And then he could be wearing a shirt that says, like, watch the tripod. I, I love th <laughs> I love this, but maybe if I could, if I could yes and, yeah, and, and improve it a little yeah. bit. Perhaps you are there mm. and you are the one p pissing yourself. I'll oh, piss what? myself okay. for the company. For the company? On company time? On company time, I'll and, and, then I, and then I save you. Yeah. Oh, how? You <laughs> piss on Zach's pants. Oh. Okay. From across... <laughs> you're like there to do like be a reporter. Yeah. And when Zach comes, you start... Being on him. Okay, so and I like where your head's at, but maybe. my penis has to be out. Right. So no, which means through, me, I'm gonna like be a, a sex fake, offender. Fake camera lens. Oh, so maybe okay. Here, just to <laughs> just to workshop this, perhaps I am actually now again the one peeing. Yeah. But I pee on Miles, mm. and so it begins this. as a <laughs> rainy saying no. I don't think that'll work. It's it not getting rainy approval. A, it'll work. <laughs> okay. It begins as a huge scandal, and people go, "Oh my God, yeah, right? Can you believe it?" But then Miles comes out with a story and uh -huh. says, "No, I actually loved it." And <laughs> now, okay. And, and, and so I'm coming out. And so now we're getting two weeks of stories, right? Yeah. Week one, can't believe that guy peed on that guy. Yeah. Then it's actually Zach peed on him and it was wonderful. And, he loved and it. now everyone's like, wow, this guy must have great pee. Let's check out the tripod. Mm. Isn't that how Rachel or wait, Monica <laughs> and Chandler got together? 
was she like <laughs> peed on his what? His because he got stung by a jellyfish. Oh, and she had oh, and pee. she peed on him. Yeah. Okay, picture this. You're carrying a bunch of groceries. You get to your door. You're fumbling with how you're going to... Are you going to put them on the ground? Yeah, you've decided you're going to put the groceries on the ground because you got to get your keys out of your pocket. You open your door. You pick them up off the ground. You walk in. You set them on the counter. You're unpacking. Wait a minute. Where are the strawberries? I'll tell you what you can do. You can use DoorDash. That's right. DoorDash, who you've trusted to get all your dinner, all your delivery. Now it can do grocery as well. Groceries that deliver, baby. With thousands of grocery stores to choose from, you're going to find the best in your neighborhood and boost your local economy with each and every order. You want even more value? You can save on all your grocery and restaurant favorites with a $0 delivery fee on all eligible orders with a Dash Pass membership. With easy solutions right in the app and best-in-class customer support, DoorDash delivers groceries exactly how you want it. Get 50% off your first DoorDash order up to a $10 value when you use code TRY2023 at checkout. Limited time offer terms apply. That's 50% off up to $10 on a $15 minimum subtotal and zero delivery fees on your first order when you download the DoorDash app in the App Store and enter code TRY2023. Don't forget, that's code TRY2023 for 50% off your first order with DoorDash. This episode is brought to you by BetterHelp. Are you like me? Are you someone who spends a lot of time like appeasing other people, but never often thinks about how you spend time about yourself? You know, the best thing you can do sometimes for your friends and family is better yourself. Work through the things that you need to work through, and it can be hard, but there is a way that it can be not so hard. I'm talking about BetterHelp. You know what BetterHelp is. BetterHelp is online therapy, but it's so much more than that. It's really revolutionizing how therapy works. You can text your therapist. You can call your therapist. You can video chat your therapist. Therapy can give you the tools to find more balance in your life so you can keep supporting others without leaving yourself behind. I know actually a lot of our listeners and viewers use BetterHelp. They've told us that it has really helped them. Uh, Zach is often ducking out for a nice little walk. He's or just texting his therapist through BetterHelp. So if you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online. It's designed to be convenient, flexible, suited to your schedule. You just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and you can switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. Find more balance with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash tripod today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash tripod. But I... <laughs> um, that's interesting. Now, I am... I guess I'm comfortable for the company. Yeah, no, this is for the company. This is this your job. This should be for my job to come out as someone who loves to go to the Golden Spa. Now, here's the thing. We're typically <laughs> not invited to, like, the big ones. So yeah. this is probably going to be at, like, I don't know, Charlie Day's, like, directorial debut type red carpet. Yeah, so it's, like, not the I'm, biggest I'm sorry, that's is Charlie Day not good enough for you? I don't think we're good enough for anything better than Charlie Day. You don't mm. think that we can pee ourselves at <laughs> the Little Mermaid? The bar, the, the <laughs> yeah, the Little Mermaid <laughs> premiere. Like that's where we wish, right? Under the pee, da na na na. Yeah, it's under kind of the cla- pee, yeah. na na na. It's in there. Yeah, it's darling, it's better down where it's wetter. Yeah, take it from me. Okay, so be peed on. <laughs> No, that's interesting. <laughs> I'm wondering. Yeah, I mean, I think it. I think it ch- checks out. If if Rainy, you don't like this plan, yeah. and I understand that yeah. there may be like a small, maybe one little hiccup in it. So how about mm, this? Here we go. I pee myself. <laughs> and I mean, but by the way, and I want to stop you right there. <laughs> That's a guarantee. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. We like this. If I'm seeing Halle Bailey in The Little Mermaid, you best believe I'm pissing myself. <laughs> <laughs> That's merch. <laughs> I That's pee myself. Can we get that shirt printed? <laughs> like tomorrow. If I'm seeing Holly Bailey, Bailey as Little Mermaid, Mermaid, you better believe I'm pissing myself. <laughs> now, I don't want to, th- I don't think I want to take her spotlight, but perhaps some of the supporting cast say, David Diggs walks by. I piss myself. <laughs> and he feels sorry. Everyone about it. gasps. They turn, heads turn, cameras turn. And then I want you guys to rise kind of I am Spartacus style mm. and you start <laughs> peeing start being. yourself and you're going to be planted around the premiere mm-hmm. and David Diggs is going to be so moved oh. that he <laughs> will start pissing himself. Interesting. So I'm actually stuck on, you think the reaction is people are like gasping. If somebody peed themselves at a premiere, yeah. how do you think that would actually go? Because I feel like it would be like, everybody would be like, 
You're like, did you right? Like, no, no. I, so I'm hush, also playing hush. this very real, and I'm hush. glad that you asked that, Rainy, because yeah. yeah. I think we're gonna uh -huh. move people to tears. I think it's gonna be a moment uh, of solidarity yeah. that reunites the world. It's like Bradley Cooper in La Gaga movie. Does he pee? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I remember he pees. Uh, that was a sad moment. It was though. a sad moment, but I'm wondering how we can flip it <laughs> into a funny one. <laughs> funny, into a funny, happy one. I, I don't see this as funny. I see it as very deeply moving. It's deep art. And it's to promote what? Phoning it in part five? <laughs> part five, yeah. <laughs> We're going to start breaking the episodes apart into little segments so like, so we can put on YouTube shorts. I think we would probably promote something a little more with a little more juice like psh, Try Guys, Play Fuck, Mary Kill, part 14. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you guys could do like grands or something. Crayons? <laughs> crayons? Fuck, Mary kill crayons. No, yeah. I, kill mac and first. cheese. Okay, I'm going to fuck mac and cheese orange. I'm going to yeah. marry Tickle Me Pink. Mm. And I'm going to kill Violet. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> that one doesn't get a qualifier. Oh, you're crazy. Yeah. Yeah, well, you're that's just the crayon. Didn't have any fun name to it. It's just plain old Violet. Yeah, purple's well, weird. Yeah, purple's kind of canceled. But uh, we do have a couple things to get to yeah. here. Yeah, um, no, I want to let's keep us we on track. Well, we if we stay on this, we could title this um, Star Wars Dildos and <laughs> Peeing on Yourself. <laughs> That's a pretty good title, right? <laughs> that is ultimately probably going to be the title here. Um, but uh, we do have to get... Um, now, first of all, it's time we uh, come clean. Zach, we uh, we leaked your license plate. Yeah. You did mine the other day, too. I did yours. So that was going to bring that up. And I'm glad you brought it up. Because, <laughs> you know, that's one thing that Rainy and I are not prepared. Mm -hmm. This is all so this new. Is an, this is an audio pod, medium. This is, it's an audio medium. Well, We're used it's always to being, been video. Well... We've <laughs> it's always been a video podcast. We're used to being people that's thinking, I mean, the worst thing we're going to show is Keith's bulge, which right. we've <laughs> censored heavily. Which we censored very heavily <laughs> to really make it seem like it was much more vulgar than it was. Yeah. So, I was just trying to be a, you know, <clears throat> short shorts for the summer. Yeah. And so we weren't quite prepared mm -hmm. for a license plate. And I, yet we leaked both of yours in the span of three weeks. I assume I don't want people to know my license plate, but I also don't know why. Right. Yeah, what would they... Well, maybe this is... Maybe we don't want to poke the, poke the bear here. Like, could they find my address through it? I don't know what... What are they finding? Probably, probably yeah. yeah. But anyone who's driven to do that could probably fucking figure it out. Anyway, yeah. Like, <laughs> I mean, I guess they would have to go to, you know... California.dmv.gov. They enter <laughs> what? I guess your license plate. They put in your last name, some qualifying details, and then boom, I guess, yeah. right? And then boom, they own me. They own you. Your they security you. question, which answer is probably Bowie 2000. <laughs> 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 which I guess is like, yeah, like Maggie's favorite suit. Favorite pet, favorite number. And then you have to like do yeah. like the password, which is probably like Try Guys Rule 123. Yeah, something like that. But uh, it's obviously been uh, a while since we've done a very special boots on the mm -hmm. ground because we've been out in the field yeah. doing boots on the ground. We've kind of been exclusively boots yeah. grounded. So. And there's right. been a plethora of pop culture is popping off yeah. all over. Where's Wouldn't pop, know. Where we've, been, we've been busy. Oh, my gosh. I actually it's it's um, it's a dense segment. We have yeah. so much to cover. There's a lot of precipitation in this raindrop. Wow. There's a lot. Yeah. It's a storm. It's a torrential downpour. And I think I want to start with something that... Um, wow, this is a big note tab. <laughs> oh, my God. This Rainy. is huge. You got to condense it. <laughs> this is huge. You guys know you can breathe through frosted mini wheats? I'm not surprised. <laughs> I just put one in my mouth and I was able to breathe through it. All right, pass one over. Yeah, yeah, I gotta put it in your mouth. <clears throat> put, it, put it so that seal, seal your lips around. I'm going to need one of those puppies. Uh, oh, yeah. Are you Did it taste? Oh, I'm good. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Ernie. All the cool kids are doing it. Like, you can breathe a shocking amount. Uh, really? Well, like, if that's what I needed to breathe to survive, I'd be fine. <laughs> yeah, I could do that. Like, like a killer. I, could, I yeah. could tape a bunch of frosted mini wheats together and probably use it as a snorkel. Yeah. You probably, well, I guess, yeah, I'm, uh -uh. No, I maybe, maybe no, but <laughs> no, I, I put them in milk before and they really change in milk. Yeah, they, they get, right. when they get wet, they do. Yeah, when they get wet, they're very different. They dissolve, kind of. Rainy, give it to us. Okay, so, I mean, Miles and I have talked in depth yeah. about the Sydney Sweeney and Glenn Powell moment. Big time. But I've actually done some research on it. Uh-oh. So Keith I have more. doesn't know the moment. Sure don't. Sydney Sweeney, oh. she's from Euphoria. Glenn Powell, who he's the next get white guy. Go yeah. for it. I know who Sydney Sweeney is. <laughs> get Glenn Powell was the, the guy <laughs> in Top Gun who is, like, 
I'm gonna fight you. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna get you. So um, I'm gonna tickle you. And so they're, good. they're no, they're in a ro- upcoming rom com together, and He's, everyone yeah. was seeing them. Like they were posting lots of really good. Okay, so you know recently good. there was Ashton Kutcher <laughs> and uh, Demi well, Moore. Hear me out. No, Ashton Kutcher <laughs> and and Re- Reese Witherspoon had like oh, yeah. no chemistry on the red carpet. Yeah, and they were in a rom com, and then all of a sudden Glenn Powell and Sydney Sweeney came out, and people were like, "Yo, this is how you have chemistry. This is how you do PR." But then they kept going, and it was like, oh. "Wow, this is a little much." Uh-huh. Like we get it. Interesting. Then they kept going, Uh-oh. and then. Like he posted something that people were like, I don't like this dude's engaged. I don't know that I'd be comfortable with this. Oh, yeah. And then, then, then mm-hmm. his fiance unfollowed Sydney Sweeney. Uh oh. And then they <laughs> broke up. He just did the biggest frog frown ever. <laughs> uh, what do you think about that, Miles? <laughs> I don't know. Ooh. I mean, yeah. first of all, what are your thoughts on Sydney Sweeney? Because you immediately were like, I know her. Well, she's hot. Whoa, Keith. <laughs> I, I don't mean, see that type of thing, but that's brave of you, I guess. Like she is, I mean, she's a good looking lady. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Lots of good looking ladies. Sure. In the world. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. She's hot. I mean, it, it, There's beautiful people everywhere. Yeah. There's, <laughs> Zach's hot. I only see beauty. <laughs> I, wow. I, everyone that I see, I find beauty in them. I do yeah. find a lot of people beautiful, actually. And I'm kind of a smart. Didn't Cindy Sweeney go to like uh, her family cookout and everybody was wearing Trump hats or something? Oh, oh yeah. 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 She was canceled because her parents are conservative. Yeah. 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 She, well, she's yeah. got big my family voted Republican energy. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. I don't know if they, anybody. I don't know why people were shocked by that. No. Yeah, of no. course not. No. She's from like Texas. Yeah. Yeah. She was blonde. <laughs> You like dirty, you're dirty blonde. You're dirty blonde. Everybody. You're dirty blonde, Randy. You're safe. Everybody, be quiet turn for a second. <laughs> turn off the okay, I'm gonna, we're gonna turn off the lights. We're gonna change seats. <laughs> <laughs> now, no one will know who said that. <laughs> yeah. We'll all take the fall. We'll it would have been anybody. Everyone, quick, pee your pants. <laughs> pee your pants. Um, okay, so okay. Glenn. And his girlfriend, Gigi, who's a uh-huh. model, yeah. are not engaged. They uh, were dating, they were but they dating. actually were on the rocks since Top Gun because she doesn't like the long distance. And we just want to do a quick, we're just going <laughs> to cite our sources just really quick because Rainy has got in trouble for yeah. sort of spreading rampant misinformation that is borderline but slander. And isn't Sidney yeah. Sweeney engaged? She is engaged, yeah. oh. but, not any, I, but who knows? We saw her... Former fiance walking out disheveled with a bunch of bags from her apartment. So I, we think <laughs> that they. Are <laughs> Sorry, when you say we saw, just like sort of we the people, the, the we the people, the people of the, of the curious States. internet. <laughs> they, so dis- and by the way, disheveled with a bunch of bags. Yeah, <laughs> like suitcase like, oh, bags, like man, we've jewel been there. bags, Trader Joe's bags. No, no, a duffel bag. Duffels full of cash. So maybe he was robbing. Yeah, maybe he was robbing Sydney Sweeney. What that kind was- of Dorcas moves out in duffels? You get yeah. that wheelie bag, bro. Save your yeah. arms. Or hire a moving company. Yeah. Save yourself the paparazzi moment. Yeah, I wonder how much stuff was. Oh, that's a great point. Yeah. That's yeah, that's good PR. People um, like the paparazzi though. They like them. Yeah, apparently, like people actually call them often. Like sometimes when you see like goofy pap- paparazzi photos, it's because they called the paparazzi to take photos. Oh of no, that them. is sometimes correct. publicists will uh, typically in Hollywood pay paparazzi. <laughs> Not always because the paparazzi have, uh, can be very invasive and crazy, but especially in early Hollywood. Like that that one that was remember the ridiculous photo shoot from Sean Mendez and Camilla Camilla where they're like walking slowly. That was paid. They <laughs> looked was, crazy. Everyone was like, it's clearly staged because like. Who who moves like that? Wasn't she wearing like yes. different color socks? Like yes, gym they were. Shorts. Men, I think it was supposed to be like, look, they're just like they're just relatable, boring but... people. Don't don't even worry about them. You <laughs> don't even care. Whoa! Just watch that video footage back. They're walking at an unrealistic pace. Yeah. it is like Maybe they're walking they just through got water. Done bounding so Maybe hard. that's what they were trying to yeah. make people think. Hey, we just got. Hey, look at this. They we were like, just got done boning. They became like an Ariana Grande <laughs> song. They're like, I can't walk because we fucked so hard. Yeah, by the way, that song always made me a little uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah. Got me walking side to side. I was like, ugh. Uh, yeah. Jeez. You fucked me too hard. <laughs> it was uncomfortable. Yeah. Jeez. Wow. So Glenn now Powell did what? Down. Okay, so. 
a little bit more information on the movie. It's actually, it's a rendition of Much Ado About Nothing, but it's rated R. Hard R comedies are back, baby. Nice. Yeah. And Gigi unfollowed Sydney Sweeney. And everybody was like, this is a nightmare. Gigi but it, who? Gigi <clears throat> and his ex-girlfriend. Gigi whose last name? No, you don't know her. Gigi Not Paris. Gigi Hadid, uh, Keith no. went to high school with her. Yeah, Gigi. <laughs> I know Gigi. <laughs> nah, I don't know any Gigi's. <laughs> but that was actually because Sydney, she was like, it had nothing to do with any of the cheating, like, rumors. I just it's, don't like her posts. Yeah, she, well, she was like, it's, um, she just never followed me back. So I unfollowed her. Oh, uh, I mean, that's honestly on Sydney Sweeney. Oh, yeah. Here's something that Sydney said, and I, I think we should unpack. Sydney doesn't date <sighs> actors or <laughs> musicians. <laughs> <laughs> of her support system, she says, I have people who will battle for me and allow me to be on. <laughs> I have assassins that shall tra- <laughs> drop from the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> they will ride from Valhalla. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't the crazy part. And allow me to be on the pedestal and shine without making me feel like, oh no, I'm shining too bright and I need to take a step back. Full Cindy! <laughs> but like, <laughs> not just too much for her. Yeah. <laughs> she shines, but not too bright. Not too bright, Sydney. Okay. You'll yeah. be you'll be a princess forever, but never a queen. Sydney. Interesting. Yeah, but I'm like, she wants to be on the pedestal. Well, she loves the pedestal. Yeah. Who doesn't, doesn't love a pedestal? I'd love to be on a pedestal. I love a good, guys, I actually I just got a new pedestal for my house. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> yeah. Tell me about it. Not it's relatable. Really good. <laughs> new pedestal. I well, no, like, wait, have you ever walked by one of those like one first second? third place podiums and be like, oh, I want to stand on that. Oh, well, I was a cross country runner, Keith. So did, did you, you get, get one? On oh, hell yeah. So, oh, 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 so yeah. guess who's been on the pedestal that's, the most? That did feel good. That did feel good. <laughs> that's right. But it was like, yeah, that's. I guess that's true. Wait, and, tell me, did you like win cross country running championship? Or are you like number one? Keith, I'm the Frontier League champion. What does that mean? 2014, <laughs> 2015. What does that mean? <laughs> What's that mean? <laughs> it's just I'm the champion of the league. What's, it? What's the league consist of? Is it Scholastic or is it like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Scholastic. <laughs> so like, it's like Denver Public Schools, like pretty yeah. small schools. So you were like, that's awesome. Are we Thank the state you. champion? <laughs> no. <laughs> Rainy, are you fast? I used to be. Well, can we do a company race? Can we do a foot race? <laughs> can we do it on a very soft field so we no one get hurt? Run down the street of River Office. <laughs> well, you know, Jared Hopkins always talking about how he can run, uh, what, uh, like a eight seconds, like a six second 40, something like some football style. Wow. He's like, I can do it. I can run 40 yards in eight seconds. And, he's, and you could too. And I'm like, I could. <laughs> he's like, yeah, you can. I'm like, cause I can. I'm like, I don't know if I could. Oh Apparently, man. We could. Is Popkin fast too? He said he's fast. <laughs> Blazing he's fast. Popkin versus rainy foot race. <laughs> Huge. Tonight at dawn. <laughs> what do we do? Like Popkin versus Tonight rainy. at dawn? <laughs> <laughs> tonight in so the morning? Yeah, in the morning. So tonight that it's tomorrow. So late tonight yeah, it's dawn. <laughs> it's right. Hell yeah. That's a pretty good talk show. Wait, but when you late actually... Night tonight at dawn. When you did the race, they actually had a podium? Not always, but sometimes they did. Fuck yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, it was pretty... It was a shallow podium. It's. I think you're you're picturing something way cooler than... Uh, it's yeah, in yeah, front Olympic. of a like high school. Like it's Olympic. not that. No, I, I want you, you know? to know that what I'm picturing fucking rocks. Yeah. What did you do on the podium? Did you sort of go like single <laughs> single hand in the air? Like I um, think I just received my medals. Did, did you, you hold, <laughs> hold a bouquet of flowers, <laughs> shake champagne over the horse? Did no, you it, chug it, milk? Oh, horse. <laughs> just took out my take, picture taken, but I was like fugly because I was like in 10th grade. Okay. Yeah, sure. I mean, it's okay. <laughs> fugly. In 10th grade, I did not look cute. Don't say fugly about yourself. <laughs> hey, Rainy. <laughs> someone's talking bad about our friend Rainy. Yeah. <laughs> and, and we're not going to stand up for and it. We're going to put you on a pedestal, <laughs> not the biggest one. <laughs> Whoa, bro. I need you to take about five steps back. Because yeah. you're coming for my main dude, Rainy, and I will not stand for it. I will fight for <laughs> like they, I, like they fight for Sydney Sweeney. Well, so for re- record scratch, I'm gonna need you to take it a few steps back. Because <laughs> you're being a little rude to my main dude. <laughs> that rhyme, Zach. I was like, you should, you should, you're a poet. A, you should sing a poetry book or something. You should sing a poetry book. <laughs> You should buy a poetry book and book some time somewhere and sing it. 
I actually think Zach yeah. rapping could be big I, for us. Zach Whoa, rapping. Zach. We could do a rap thing for Corn you. Corn Daddy. <laughs> the music the video? Corn Daddy. Corn Daddy? Lil Corn. <laughs> Once upon a midnight dreary, <laughs> while I pondered weak and weary, over a many a quaint and curious volume of forgotten lore. The Raven. That was so, beautiful. So got it. it. So, so, so Rainy was looking <laughs> fine as hell. Yeah, sure. Doing her thing. Yeah. So got it. And um, and Glenn Powell, what? Okay, let's <laughs> keep going. <laughs> let's proceed through my notes doc. So apparently they, they, they allegedly aren't hooking up. A source says that he actually is just saying his, his work very seriously. What is this news? <laughs> <laughs> they allegedly... <laughs> Aren't hooking up, which like allegedly the allegations <laughs> are that everything's fine. Everything's nothing's <laughs> happening. Allegedly, nothing's happening. You think you're gonna get sued by Sydney Sweeney for saying that they didn't hook up? No, well that's just what the source says. Oh, okay, Who's it. the source? Me, Dumois. <laughs> gotta be Dumois. <laughs> Dumois. 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 No, no, no. This I got from People Magazine. Um, oh, much so more reliable. Very reputable. Yeah. There's reputable. a lot of people there. Yeah, a lot of people there. Yeah. So I, I don't know. I just think what, the most interesting thing about this to me was, yeah. Well, there's a lot of interesting parts. I mean, I think this is, so so <laughs> so the most interesting part to you is that there was a lot of interesting stuff to unpack. I was like, I can't even actually choose. Yeah. I do think it's fascinating that Sydney Sweeney, I think the the thing that she said about like how she she just like wants people to sort of go to battle and let her shine uh, really was telling to me. Yeah. I don't know quite what that means to me either. <laughs> you know, it sounds like a threat. But I was like, I have oh. a lot of people who will go to battle for me. And they want to see me succeed, but they don't want me to get too big ahead either. Yeah. Right. Yeah. They want to see me succeed, but they don't. Like, okay. I mean, I think I feel like I have a lot of people who would stand up for me and yeah. also like want to see me succeed, but probably don't want to see me like really blow past them. Right. Yeah. They're okay. With letting you be on the pedestal and shining. Right. Yeah. yeah. They don't want to dim your shine. They don't want to dim my shine. And they're not embarrassed by you shining so bright. Right. Yeah. See, yeah. Well, I'm not embarrassed by you shining so bright. <laughs> Keith, I want to tell you. <laughs> Is there a brightness I could shine where you'd start being maybe even just mad though? Never, not embarrassed, never, but mad. Never King. Never. I think that I want you to, I think that though, you know, that's interesting. I want everybody to shine as bright as they possibly can because the more shine there is to go around, mm -hmm. the more shine's going to bleed Not off. Not everybody always wants others to succeed, you know? The more you Sometimes shine, the brighter I'm going to seem standing next to you. That's kind of true. Shine. That's because you're casting my life. light on me. Yeah. People think you're casting your shadow against me, but no. No. You're the lamp. I agree. What? I'm the book. <gasps> I need you. <laughs> Because you can't read in the dark. Uh, 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 hold up. I want all my friends to succeed. And time. that's on facts. And that's on facts from Zach. That's, that's, caps. that's not cap at all. And by the way, um, up next on the docket, I know we have more boots in the ground. Oh, yeah, of course. But um, up next on the docket, I noticed, Keith, that um, you replied oh, yeah. to the lunch <laughs> text and you said nothing for me, thanks. And I was just curious what you had for lunch. <laughs> I had leftover chili. <laughs> Becky made chili um, the night after we did the, I did eat the menu. So I'm, and I was like, you know, I'm not having that, right? She's like, yeah, I know. I'm like, okay, so I'll eat it. I, I can't eat it tomorrow yeah. either because we're doing my people talking. And she's like, I know, but you'll eat it eventually. I'm like, okay. Yeah. And she was right. I had two bowls of chili today. And let me tell you. Who? Tell us. It was Wow. Don't like, really don't like what you're doing with your tongue. Licking he's licking his, his lips. lips. No, it's but so it, good. it's more than that. It's. Licking lips is kind of more like the tip comes out. His full tongue is 360-ing around. Yeah, he's saucing his lips. It's like the sponge. I like being the SpongeBob gif. Yeah. He I does that <laughs> sometimes. It made yeah. me deeply uncomfortable. Um, yeah, uh, I mm. ate two really good bowls of chili. I put onions and cheese into them. I added salt. I cracked some tortilla chips into those bad boys. <laughs> you didn't say eggs. <laughs> you no. no. Cracked a couple <laughs> eggs. Cracked a couple raw eggs in. <laughs> One of my protein. Um, and it was really delicious. And I and I, I like where you guys got lunch from today, but it's not honestly, it's not my one of my favorites. They have good oh. cookies. Uh, Interesting, but I don't because love the lunchtime here at Second Try is kind of like, I don't know, core bonding time. It's a community and event. It's true. That I've been kind of in. throwing my hat into the lunch bonding ring. And you sat at the table once, by the way. Yesterday. And that was yesterday. It's and more, I thought it was weird. It's <laughs> It's more that you like you like to throw curveballs into the lunch chat more than you like to join the <laughs> That's lunch. That's right. 
Zach you like sits argue in for other lunch places, <laughs> and when you don't get your way, you order secret lunch from another place. I saw the secret lunch come in yesterday. He didn't even by the way. tell me about the secret lunch the day he did it. I what? didn't know you would want secret lunch. I, well, I want secret least, lunch. I want to know if there's a secret second lunch I option. Want I want to know about it. By the way, I think I did. I think you did know, and you chose not to know. I didn't know. I think I said it on order? our group chat. He got secret lunch from like a weird little health place. I got. You, do you want to know where you, I got it yeah, from? You did it, not it? get it from Gwyneth Paltrow. I got it from Gwyneth Paltrow's ghost that? kitchen. <laughs> no way. That's so fucked up. He got goop. From Goop. You ordered Goop for Gwyneth to go? Paltrow has on DoorDash what's clearly a ghost kitchen, Goop kitchen, uh. and guys, fuck me up. No. Love it. I've been wanting to try it so bad. I want to get it. I get it on the regular. Do they have Hailey Bieber probiotic smoothie? Basically. It's uh. like a macrobiotic DoorDash <laughs> place. Well, let's get Goop on Monday. Fuck yeah. So what I'll was let, the yeah. secret? You didn't want to tell everyone about the secret lunch? No, it just, I, we were ordering the Thai place, Thai, which and, honestly, it was a better Thai place than the last few Thai places we've got. Really? Yeah. With I those, feel like it was, we found a good Thai place. I just have had a very, mm. uh, delicate gastrointestinal mm -hmm. ecosystem since my little C. diff yeah. adventure. Right. And so I'm trying to be a good boy. Runs mm. or stops. What'd you say? <laughs> Runs or stops. <laughs> <laughs> A really funny way to ask. <laughs> well, let me tell you, I don't know if you've seen me and Zach eating a lot of these fibers, oh, but that yeah. might tell you the answer to what <laughs> style we're rocking right now. Let's style. But wait, so back to lunch. So every day, the whole team here eats lunch around the table, and usually I take my lunch in the office and I listen through the glass. You're listening? <laughs> yeah, I hear Zach? everything you say. Uh -huh. <laughs> wait, what are you listening for? I just, I hear the laughs and the joy and I'm just such a busy little bee that normally I'm slamming emails or or watching, watching cuts. down cuts and yeah. Zach's got to watch a lot of cuts because I don't give notes on anything. <laughs> 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 so that's you know I'm like I'm a little bit <laughs> <laughs> so I'm a little, little busy. Well, I have to give notes on cuts because I don't. I'm yeah. not in any videos. So yeah, there you go. yeah, I have notes on some cuts, and they're normally mine are all like real bummers too. <laughs> <laughs> real bummer. Notes. Yeah, I wrote, I wrote. I'm like, like we can't show this. This is gonna get age gated. I was like, <laughs> can't hear this too loud. <laughs> just like really, like I'm just very quickly. Yeah. Fire. My notes have like no kindness to them. Yeah, you, you gotta know, fire them off. Notes are blunt. Yeah, but yeah. so I I uh, this, decided I'm not to. Mean, I'm just trying to be efficient. Like Maggie has seen the way I give notes, and she's like, "Ouch!" And I'm like, "No, no, no. They know. I yeah. think they know. I like them." Yeah, it's yeah. like this part is like pretty good, but I think it'd be better if this would happen. It's like, oh, or even it'll just be like, "This doesn't work." Got this. Actually, that's interesting because I find receiving notes is hard. Hmm. Do you guys? How do you process a negative note? I, I normally my instinct is ah, what? Yeah. Mm, yeah. All right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you have to right. go through a whole yeah. uh, cycle of sadness that you didn't nail it perfectly, even though you already knew that you didn't nail it perfectly. Yeah. And then you eventually get excited to try something new. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sure. It depends on how much work the note, the negative note means yeah. you're going to have to do. That's yeah. when yeah. it sucks. So when someone gives a note and they're right, but you know there's like, ah, oh, fuck, there's a lot structurally that depends on this beat being here. And if it's not uh -huh. working, I've got to change the whole fucking video around. Right. If uh -huh. it's like, hey, like we don't need this joke, that's like, great, cool. Sure. That's just a little trim. But when right. if it's, if it's a uh, more structured, I'm not thing. understanding the premise of the video. I'm like, mm, Ross, that's not good. Oh, that's <laughs> yeah, how you got right. that note. Yeah. That's yeah. a big note. Yeah, it's just like, and honestly, it's just organization. Mm. You just need to move information around. But yeah, it's hard, right. like, because sometimes yeah. it's hard because we were there. We shot the video. Right. Yeah. I know what's going on. Yeah. I have knowledge in my brain that helps me understand it. But if you were a viewer who's never mm -hmm. heard of this before, and you get like two minutes in, and the piece of information you need is actually at three fit like three thirty. You're going to be at two minutes in. You're like, what am I watching this for? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the information is coming, but what that tells me is like, oh, that information needs to be a lot earlier than I thought it did. Yeah. So sometimes that, and that can be hard because it changes the right. rhythm, changes the scoring. Yeah. This is boring shit. But <clears throat> that's so the, as yeah. I no, was, that's just as saying. Zach was saying, lunchtime. Oh, you sat at the lunch table once. Twice. Twice. What'd you learn? What I was the big I, drama? I feel like I didn't even sit there when you sat there. What happened? Well, was yeah, I here? you kind of were like, you know, playing hooky. I was not playing hooky. What <laughs> if I played hooky? You went down to 
You were block shooting car TikToks. We know you were. I was <laughs> <laughs> you know, shooting those all the same day. <laughs> all the same day. Just changing uh -huh. uh huh. I know you do. <laughs> it was really fun to eat lunch, but then I also felt like there was a certain level of gossip that I wasn't allowed to participate in. Yeah. Because, like, what, like what Rainy was talking about her new crush, and then she, like, <laughs> said something about... She said something about like, have you ever had a threesome? And like, people were like joking about that. And and I'm just sitting there. And I'm just sitting there, and I'm like, this is really fun and really funny, but I don't think I'm allowed to participate. Yeah, I think that's so fair. So I'm too. just gonna sit here and smile. Yeah, rainy. and it felt unfair to me, and I get that I did it to myself, but I'd. I, no, I just I, I agree. I, I've, sometimes I don't sit out there because I'm like, ah, it's their time. Sure, Let them. Yeah hang out and chat and not feel like they have to not say something that they would but sure. they won't say because we're there. Well, it was clear to me that mm. there were there was no filter and that was nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm, I'm <ex> boss <laughs> is sitting there and we're just kind of fucking popping off. Yeah, just popping off is normal um cuz again, I do normally listen. I press my ear to the glass yeah, and I listen. See you. We have yeah. one of those like cups against cups. the wall. <laughs> little hearing uh, guns. Yeah, I have a hearing gun that I watch from my car. <laughs> But I did feel that there was a limit to how much I could contribute. Right. And Rainy, do you want to respond to the allegations of how you are at lunch? Okay, so... <laughs> she, just, to, just to make this I, clear, she begins lunch by being like, hey, Zach, got any tea? Yeah, <laughs> which Zach flopped at so hard. I was like, what's Kelsey up to? Because Kelsey always has tea. And he was like, it's not even tea, it's just normal. And I was like, girl, you're not going to tell me. <laughs> About yeah. the sex party that you went to this weekend, probably? That's this coming weekend. That's this coming weekend. <laughs> I love that everyone's sync calendars are synced up, by the way. <laughs> we know exactly when. <laughs> but I do want to address, I did not ask, I was asked if I've ever been in a threesome. Well, first I, didn't you, I didn't broach that topic. That is oh, a great point. Sure. First she said, because she has a crush on two boys, if I may. Yeah, you can, but careful. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you said that. It was so goddamn funny. Careful, but careful. careful. Just be careful. She entered an accent that wasn't even hers. I don't know. I don't even know whose it is. It's like almost like a like a Minnesota accent. But careful, be Fargo. careful be up the air. So it was. Uh, she has a crush on two boys. Yeah, two real Dog boys or celeb boys. No. Enough has been said. <laughs> and then it was the question of, uh, oh, what if I dated two friends oh, at the same time? Right. That sounds stressful. Have you ever dated two friends at the same time? Yeah. And then the question was posed, threesome? Question mark? Right. Which Zach has dated two friends at the same time. It came out. I think I've done this as well. Like I in slyly college, really? smiled. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was inferred that he has. I didn't <laughs> dare participate. Uh, yeah, I, I in college i it wasn't dating but yeah yeah and no. how did did they find out sort of at a party when you were kissing one and no going to the i, don't, other think, side, I the don't, other? don't think they ever found out oh that's yeah. unlikely well no they didn't it just kind of they both just ran their course how about that <laughs> beautiful what sound would stressful. you play <laughs> yeah, well, it, was it, was the cash register. it was stressful i don't think i knew it in the beginning and then i p pieced it together that it was it was um Ah, uh, this is gonna make me sound whatever. One, it was they were in a sorority, and one was the other's big. I've done that too. <laughs> I mean, Rainy, you dated but the not, person, not at the same time. Big, so like, yeah. I but was, is it called a big in a fraternity as well? I don't know. Like big and they little. They were both bad it's called people. daddy. It's called a daddy. The daddy. <laughs> my frat daddy. My, my frat daddy. My, my frat son. That's so, so you dated the which one? Oh, first? We, we didn't date. <laughs> They hung out. <laughs> they hung out. And we we kissed. And then it was like, oh, wow. oh, oh, oh. Wait, uh. <laughs> what, what time what? frame is this over? Is this over the kiss or is this over like a month? It was like probably more like a month. Yeah, sure. So you a little dated, back forth, back forth. And you uh. were dating two people at the same time and they were friends. I think I, and to let you off the hook, I definitely did this. And in college, there was a <laughs> circumstance where it was like, I was dating several people. College is, you know, it was bigger, but not that big. Yeah. And we had a party at our house. Oh, my god! And gosh. I had been casually, you know, over the course of the Kissing. past several months, 
doing my thing. Kissing on a couple. <laughs> with, let's say, three to four people, <laughs> but not exclusively just like, oh, this is me and this person had a hookup. We went on a date, you know, three weeks ago. I right. went on a date, whatever. So they were all one-off friends of my five roommates. And at this party that we had, they all came. Wow. And I was like, what? All you came had to do once. Mrs. Doubtfire where you're like going in and out with <laughs> yeah. different wigs. I just kind of had to like make myself scarce and then just being like, I have to, I have to just not uh, engage really with any of them because it wouldn't be fair to right. like, you know, pick one. Wow. And I, I want to be clear here. I wasn't cheating on anybody. This right, is right, all right. just casual yeah. like dalliances yeah. that I was college. having. But it's Ooh, college. Dalliance. Yeah, it was a college yeah. time. Yeah. So uh, anyway, yeah, that's how Rainy exists at lunch. She's always looking for goss, always looking for tea. Always looking for goss. I did feel disappointing, and it felt like I've reached a stage in my life where all my friends are quite boring. Because mm. you asked you asked if I have some hot goss, and I'm you like... You probably do, and you're just not... Oh, I know you've got goss. Yeah. You, you After Guilty Pleasures, you're always taking Kelsey and Garrick into the office. Oh, my God. I've got good goss. <laughs> God damn it. You <laughs> Holy dick. shit. I just realized the best... <gasps> Keith, I have such good goss that you don't even know. No way. Oh my god, this goss is so fucking I'm good. I'm so perked up. The uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm ready to be involved. Wow, oh the my eye, god. I, I, there's livid. no way for me to give this goss. Yeah. But I oh fuck. It's really good. Okay, well, huh? tell me after the show. Damn. And for all of you listening to the show, if you want to hear about this goss, yeah. just Venmo Zach six <laughs> thousand dollars. Do and don't he will send it. you an email. No, it's not mine to give. <laughs> But it's somebody. I found out that somebody. <gasps> I, I I can't. Okay. Right. But guys, just know that if you give me gossip, mm -hmm. I will maybe eventually blurt it out. Yes. On the podcast. hundred percent. Zach and Becky alike. Don't Ugh. don't tell them secrets that need to stay secrets. Now, if you need a place to put your secrets, put them in me. Yeah. Really. I, I'm a little. Yeah. Yeah. You're You're locking He's a black box. But you'll tell Becky. Uh -uh. No, you have secrets you don't tell Becky. If they're not supposed to be heard by Becky and they're like somebody's secret, then no, I won't. Well, that's really it. until yes. wow. I had asked Keith for like pre-proposal advice, and I knew like he kept it. He, mm -hmm. No one knew. Becky didn't know, right? That's great. Think. There's stuff I will keep. Yeah, there's stuff I'll keep from. It's but it's specifically it's because, and yeah. she knows this too. Yeah. It, if it gets to Becky, now it's getting to someone else. Yeah, sure. and that's why it's like. So yes, if it's something related to proposal, if I tell Becky, sure. Becky's gonna, it's gonna come out to Maggie yeah. or Zach, yeah. like even, and then my trust is compromised. No, I get that. Mm. I get that. You but now, if it's if it's someone like that I don't really know or care about and they say like something that's like, I don't know, Juicy. about me or Becky, yeah, I would tell Becky. Yeah, of course. <laughs> um, uh, my goal this weekend, Rainy, I'm going to go out into the world and I'm going to find you some goss. Thank you, Zach. I have Report a back very social goss weekend. Goss hunters. I got a big social weekend and it's unlike me, so I'm gonna oh, wow. I'm gonna go digging. Uh -huh. Dig for that goss, but I got I got three days of activities this weekend. Oh wow. my god, that's yeah. so well. What am I start today? What are you yeah. doing? Wow, I got a birthday dinner tonight. Wow. I got a <laughs> birthday karaoke tomorrow. Whoa, at an open room karaoke uh? with a lot of WJA writers who are on strike. We support the They're union. They're ready Damn to right. let it loose. Yeah, they, oh, yeah, they got they no are. work to do. Yeah, they, <laughs> they fucking are. They're ready to fucking party. Yeah. Um, and then I'm uh, an event that I cannot disclose on Sunday. But I will. It's the sex party with it's Kelsey. The party. <laughs> He's going to the sex party with Kelsey. But we are filming very early on Monday, and yeah. I will be, be wacky. Tired. <gasps> yeah. There we'll we be go. tired. Uh, well, we got to wrap this up. Uh, why don't we toss it over to you for the final segment? Why don't we toss it over to who? I guess it's to me, but really it's to the theme song. Let's toss it over to the theme song. It's advice that'll, that'll go, go four miles. miles. Tune into your radio station. It's advice that'll, that'll go, go four miles. miles. Everybody, everybody ready, Miles Nation. What's up, Miles Nation? How's everybody feeling tonight? Woo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever wanted to think so good that you're actually thinking really smart? Miles, you already do that every day. Ah, uh, thanks, Rainy, for <laughs> hey, having my hey, back. Hey, no, no Have you interruptions. Ever wanted to be the best emotional you that you could possibly squeeze. Hold up, Miles, because you already are that person. Thanks, King. No interruptions. <laughs> I'm talking about sitting in the dirt. Sit in the dark. Sit in the dark. In the dirt. I'm talking about sitting in that dirt, Keith. And putting on a little heady. <laughs> putting on head? <laughs> heady? 
I'm talking about zenning <laughs> yourself so good that everyone else is freaking blown. Sitting in the dark? <laughs> your advice, sitting alone in the dark? Peggy. Pegging? Steve. Peggy what, why Steve. are you pegging Steve? Mark. These are people who Apostles? are big oh. thinkers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about <laughs> sitting in the dark and listening to music with some headphones. Music. Oh, wow. I music had a moment people. the other day where I thought it's the end of the day. The candles are lit. <gasps> the lamps are doused. And I'm ready to oh. wind down while I'm going to pound town on thinking about stuff. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. The pound town of thinking about stuff. I put on headphones and I listened to a song at the end of the day and it was nighttime what and song? I just sort of got lost. And to be honest, and this may be dorky and this may be porky. Is it the piece of cake to bake a pretty cake song? No, but that would rule. <laughs> it was uh, the song from inside where he's like, funny feeling. Oh, that's a good song. Oh. It's just nice. It's, an it's actually sad song. It soothes me. It's kind of sad. It's like, oh man, this is like delightful. I listened to that song with headphones on in my, at my desk at home, and I just kind of kicked my feet up on my desk, and I just was like, ah. Yeah. And I found that just being in the moment there, not playing music while I'm doing other stuff, but just being like, let me just sit here and listen to some music and have that be the activity. The lights are low, so I'm really just focusing on those notes. Yeah. yeah. And that song really makes you feel stuff. It does, big time. I, I yeah. like that song a lot. Um, but uh, yeah, that's my advice for this week is uh, get a little you time and uh, listen to a little song. You time on YouTube. Mm. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> that's the industry. I, I agree. I think taking a break with some music is a great way to... I also use, I think, people using music to help them access the emotions they oh, need yeah. to access mm -hmm. in a moment or Definitely. in a day or in a month. Yeah. Like sometimes you're like, ah, I've been really, really stressed. And probably what you need to do is like cry. <laughs> yeah. But you don't totally. have the urge to cry. But if maybe you could put on a song or something that you know pulls you emotionally and that will mm -hmm. help you get some of your stress out in a healthy way. Yeah. And in a way that also isn't directed at someone or something. It just right. can be mm -hmm. a moment to just let out some stress mm -hmm. in the form of eye water. Uh, Miles, you've recently cried for the first time in years. Uh, <laughs> is that too personal? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. yes, but we'll leave it in. Oh, that was so funny. <laughs> yes, we'll leave it in. I did. I'd been blocked first time. up. I'd been blocked up. <laughs> and I did recently have, I've gotten back into it. My son was it something I said? It was, yeah, Zach. <laughs> Zach made fun of me in my face at the lunch table. Yeah. No, uh, to try to fit in with the cool kids. Kids. No, I, uh, yeah, like, my how son, are you liking it? My son, <laughs> my, liking it. my son cracked me open like a little egg. Mm. Uh, and like I, the eggs been, that put Keith puts in his chili, just like the eggs mm -hmm. Keith puts right in the chili, and it's and it's boiled, so it's like a little shakshuka. Uh -huh. uh, it's shakshuka chili, <laughs> shakshuka egg chili. Uh, no, yeah, I got cracked open, and obviously, I liked it. I mean, I've always had a wistfulness about me, mm -hmm. but having a little bit of that release is very nice. I've found I feel like it feels really good, yeah. Right. And I find that I, uh, similar to Keith, I sometimes do that with shows like mm -hmm. Grey's Anatomy is a big one. It's just like, oh, I need to feel big emotion mm -hmm. popping on a little episode of GA <laughs> is gonna get me there. <laughs> a little GA, a little GA, a little GA action, yeah, yeah, it's nice. Use media to help you. Well, gang, if you're feeling emotionally <laughs> blocked up, maybe yes. <laughs> maybe this is what you listen to yeah. when you need to cry. I feel emotional. Cry tears of happy laugh. <laughs> you keep talking these sentences that seem like they're going to keep going. I'm trying to. I'm really trying to capture the Miles's way of speaking <laughs> in podcasts, which is to like. Sort of start a prompt, but don't end the prompt. Yeah, I'm like ChatGPT, but I'm not very smart. So right. I'm just predictively <laughs> like, I'm using predictive. Have patterns. you ever had a drink? <laughs> yeah, I know. That's exactly <laughs> right. That is how I talk. Of? Of something nice. All that, of it? <laughs> of all of it. Yeah, exactly. Well, gang, if you're feeling emotionally backed up, maybe listen to a song or put on a podcast like this one that make you feel happy cry. Mm. Mm. Or maybe... Pee your pants in front of David Dicks. That's oh, right. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Keith, <laughs> here's with the Adventure Trap Hot theme song.
Once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered weekend weary, over many quaint and curious volume of forgotten lore, while I sat there nearly napping, suddenly there came a tapping, as if someone gently rapping, rapping on my chamber door. Tis some visitor, I muttered, <laughs> entering entrance <laughs> at my door. Uh, that's probably it. And then he opens the door, and there's darkness. Yeah, yeah. He turns around, there's a raven in his room. The tripod. A really, really good. One. Have a good ass week, baby. <laughs> I, was just I really liked singing. that. Is that a real Raven, song? Yeah. Oh. No, no, it's the poem by Edgar Allan Poe. Oh, I just like the <laughs> rhythm. I wasn't listening to the words. <laughs> <laughs>